Today we're in the green pastures of Coquitlam because a very famous student was on the honor roll here at Maple Creek Middle School. Born January 5, 1985, Michael Cuccioni was a multi-talented performer at an early age. Before he was a teenager, he had already recorded an album called Make a Difference. And as an actor, he performed on such TV shows as Baywatch. He combined his singing and acting talents for the MTV show Together. He played Jason Q.T. McKnight in the fictional boy band. The pilot, filmed in Vancouver in 1999, spawned a 20-episode series and two albums. The band appeared at the MTV Music Awards and even toured as an opening act for Britney Spears. Michael and his two-gether bandmates sounded a little something like this. It says you plus me equals us. Yeah. Oh, sing a chant from me. I know my calculus. It says you plus me equals us. Young Michael was also an author, a motivational speaker, and he was a regular performer for fundraising telethons. He was so inspirational that celebrities like Wayne Gretzky, Wayne Newton, and even the Pope wanted to meet him. On July 24, 1994, nine-year-old Michael fainted while swimming in a lake, and he was diagnosed with cancer the next day. Not only did Sweet Michael bravely battle the disease, he dedicated his life to raising awareness and money in the fight against childhood cancer. He used the money he earned from his music to start his own research foundation. On December 4, 2000, Michael got pneumonia from which he never recovered, and he passed away from respiratory failure on January 13, 2001. He was 16 years old. More than 2,000 mourners attended St. Helens Church here in North Burnaby for his funeral service on January 17, 2001. The place was jam-packed. Celebrities in attendance included Michael's Baywatch co-star David Hasselhoff, who eulogized Michael, saying he only lived 16 years, but he had the life of 20 people. Hasselhoff sang a song, as did the choir, from Michael's school. A huge procession of limousines, cars, and fire trucks accompanied Sweet Michael's casket through the streets of Greater Vancouver, and he was laid to rest here at Burnaby's beautiful Ocean View Cemetery. By sharing his own experiences, Michael inspired people with his compassion to make a difference. He carried with him the true desire to help other people fight and beat cancer. All he wanted to do was stop the pain and suffering of other sick people. With his talents and brave heart, he dedicated his short life to creating awareness and raising important funds for childhood cancer research. He encouraged people to stay positive and to never give up. He said, one person can only do so much, but together we can make a difference. And the Michael Cuccioni Foundation continues to raise money. In their first 26 years, the foundation has raised over $25 million for childhood cancer research. If you'd like to pay your respects to our brave hero, you'll find Michael's final resting place inside the South Mausoleum on the main floor here at Ocean View. He's in the southeast corner of the building. Our last stop is Notre Dame High School in East Vancouver. It's been rebuilt a little bit since Michael attended, but that hasn't stopped them here from remembering him. In 2020, the school held its 16th annual MAD Film Festival. The festival celebrates and pays tribute to Michael by donating all of its proceeds to the Michael Cuccioni Foundation. And to date, the festival has raised over $30,000. For more info, I've included links to the film festival and the foundation in the details section below. Special thanks to teachers Mr. D. Donato and Mr. Isherwood for their help today. If you have a memory of Michael, please leave a comment below. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of Vancouver. Please click the subscribe button. Until next time, be good to the other. <laughs>